up guys welcome back to Kuroji Gaming on this video we're gonna do a 2009 uh, what is this Pontiac G6 it's got the 2.4 liter the Ecotec now I took the cover off it's pretty easy you just um, take this little hose off and then take the Phillips off of here from the hose just throw it right up here <sighs> this is Ecotec. Now all you gotta do is um, once you take this, these two hoses off, then you just pop the cover off. Now in this video we're gonna do the the crank sensor. It's uh, you gotta first, first thing you gotta do is unbolt the oil dipstick. It's got a bolt right here. Um, I already took it off, but right there, it's a 10. So you just pull it off. That way you can move the oil dipstick back and forth and move it out of the way a little bit. The next thing you want to do is take that, I think it's the engine oil temp. I think. It's, one, it's a temperature sensor, I'm not sure which one. But see, it's right there. And the plug is right here. So you just plug with your finger. It's, it's underneath. It goes just like this. So you gotta go stick your hand, stick your finger underneath, pull it up, and then it just pops right out. It's pretty easy. At least mine was. Now we're gonna try to take that crank sensor out. Let's see if I can get it. See the bolt? Oh, I can barely see it. But it's right back there. You can barely see it, the corner of it. It's an 8 millimeter. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle. There you go. See that bolt? Yeah. It's right in the center of the screen. Camera's a little blurry, but there it is. Bam. So, I'm pretty sure it's an 8. So, we're going to use a long extension. And a universal joint. It's going to look something like this. At the end. Try to get it back there. Now let me set up the camera to try to get the flashlight, the camera, and that socket back there. It's gonna be a little difficult, but I'll give it a try. Uh, you know what? It's probably better if I get the, another extension on there. Mm. I'm trying to make this video pretty quick. I don't want it too long. Because on my phone, I, I don't know, I guess you can only record up to 10 minutes before you have to, you can't record anymore. As long as posting it on YouTube, that is. Oh, there goes the phone. Hold on, guys. Flashlight. 
Okay, I just finished a, what is that, a Malibu, 2011 Malibu. I just did the front end. Um, basically what I did is I replaced the front bumper, the front bumper reinforcement part, the one that goes behind the actual bumper. And uh, I'll show you guys. And the seat belts, because one of the seat belts got messed up. But the whole front end's brand new. That light right there to driver's side. It's got brand new chrome grill and these black inserts. But uh, came out pretty good. Oh, and I painted the, the rim right here. Just put a little stripe with the, um, the rims are dirty, so don't. The only thing I cleaned was the actual part that I painted. So, yeah, it's gonna look pretty nice. So, that one's done. All right. Back to what we were doing. I think I loosened it, so. Where's it at? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Coming out. Now the way you gotta do it is you just you loosen it up. Let me take this socket out. The ratchet thing. You loosen it and then you gotta once you take the bolt out, you gotta turn the sensor like 90 degrees. Try to go down with it. And then it sh it should come out. It's got like a little slit on it on the sensor itself that if you don't turn it that 90 degrees, it won't it won't come out. Okay, so there goes the bolt. And the bolt fell down, but who cares? I got a spare one somewhere. Okay, so let's see if I can stick my hand in there. So turn the sensor 90 degrees down. Try to go down with it. If you can't go down, you can actually go up as well. So, yeah, where's that? Uh, where's that sensor? Oh, it's over here. Oh, I haven't disconnected it yet. Great. Anyways, let me see if I can push it down. You know what, I'm gonna go up with it. As long as you turn it 90 degrees, uh, either up or down, it should come out. And I know this because I went to the junkyard and pulled two other ones. See, and these are the slits I'm talking about. So you gotta, it's in there like this, you turn it and it should pop out. These are the cam sensors, and I labeled them. I think this is the intake side, intake side, exhaust side. Uh, my, my car's got a few codes. Um, I'll post them on the description, but um, I'm gonna try to replace these first. And if this doesn't fix it, because I think it's it's got a timing belt problem, timing chain, it doesn't have a belt. This car has a chain. so. If this doesn't, excuse me, if this doesn't fix it, one of these sensors, I'm going to replace th all three of them, both cams and one crank. If it doesn't replace or fix it, I'm going to have to take the, the timing chain out and put a brand new one in. Because I think, I think it skipped the tooth, but I'm not positive. So I want to do the cheap route first and the easiest first before I take the valve cover off and all that good stuff. I'll make another video if I have to do that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you, it's in there just like this. You turn it and pull out. Or you can turn it this way and pull out. Either way, because I did I did one down and I did one up. So I turned one one way and I turned the other the other way. Just because sometimes um, it won't let you turn it a certain way. So 